Hello everyone, welcome to my brand new Let's Play series of Pathologic. I'm Colonel RPG and I'm very happy to have you here with me as I try out this game that I know very, very little about. A uh, few people have been recommending it to me for a while now uh, and I've been waiting until the end of the Stalker Call of Pripyat uh, Let's Play that I just finished to start this one. It's done by... I don't actually know if it's Russian or if it's Ukrainian or for or from which country it is, but it's definitely an Eastern European development, uh, developer. Uh, it is published by Devolver Di Digital these days anyway, and I'm playing the uh, HD class... It's basically the newest version of the game. It's got improved translations, improved dialogue and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and uh, it's actually a pretty old game. It was originally released, I think, back in 2005 or 2006. I purposely didn't do a whole lot of research onto the game because uh, I didn't want to spoil it for myself. It is really weird. Uh, just check out the intro cinematic and you'll see for yourself. Allow me to remind you that an epidemic of unknown origin has already eradicated a few genuinely distinctive towns in the northern part of the country. The cause and circumstances of these tragic events remain uncertain. There is a lot that we cannot explain yet. It appears as though the plague has a mind of its own, as if it is driven by some irrepressible will. Why else has no one managed to fight it successfully? Why does it target the most precious aspects of our existence? The sand plague picks its victims fastidiously, and the same principle always draws it back to whoever tries to oppose it. Surprisingly, we've yet to hear a single word from the powers that be. So the world is falling apart and we're in a town or a house with kids that are burying a doll in the snow. I think there's gonna be a lot of, I mean, that, I got a serious Silent Hill vibe from that, but I think there's gonna be a lot of symbolism here, a lot of crazy things. Uh, apparently this game was branded by, uh, I think it was Rock, Rock Paper Shotgun as the most important game you've never played. Uh, and this, and in fact, this game didn't get a very good reception here in uh, Western Europe. I'm from Portugal and and elsewhere as well in in the U.S. didn't get a very warm reception back when it came out. But um, in 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 the Russian uh, market, it got really good reviews, and generally, it's getting amazing reviews even now. So I'm really definitely very excited to start playing it. Uh, so let's get down to it. So it's all about trickery to you. Wherever have you come from? No, no. I detest trickery. But if we ourselves are to suffer deception, our hands are no longer tied. Where are we? Well, the muscular contraction is there. Means you're already inside of him. This must be one of the ventricles. It's a play right here. What a silly place. It's stuffed. So it's not real for now? I don't think it has started yet. Does it matter what it's made of? It's definitely struggling. We need to perform Sectio Transversalis. Cut the wall. There's no other way out. What else what? is there to do? I know what to do. Those who favor hard logic and direct action are bound to be misguided. Oh. Only a miracle can set us free without us having to destroy something. And I can do miracles. Just let me. That's Will her boating? Please be quiet. 
You're a liar and a thief. Who is going to believe you when you keep lying to yourself? The truth is my shepherd. Whatever happens, I will find answers, and justice will be restored. I that... will perform the operation. Medica Morbo at Hebe. Don't you go all bossy on me, clever <laughs> clogs. You will act justly, but your justice will blind you and become his demise. This calls for the gentle hand of a surgeon. Step aside, both of you. Your gentle hands are used to killing, not giving life. You will inevitably do harm. As for Brainy, he has no regard for casualties at all. Neither of you knows compassion. I have no idea what's yes. going on. It seems unlikely that we'll get along well, but there's only one truth. Any choice is right as long as it's willed. That's the truth of the matter. Only the heart will show you the right choice. What is Stop that noise? thinking about yourselves. Think of the sick. He's in pain. I can't see it yet, but I can feel it. It's not even a trap. It's a grave. Subibsum funisumus. Can't Man, say that guy. I hold a soft spot for it. I can see that. Oh. You're full of hate. Stuffed or not, it's breathing. I can hear it. It can be healed rather than killed. You mean you won't become a killer? Yeah. But you will. This looks Mark like a play word. to me. That's exactly they're on a stage. Happen, but and I they're talking about wait. things that are not there. No. We won't ever get along. I suggest we be on our way. The sooner the better. Off we go then? Let's go. The clock is ticking. Is that it? Oh! Oh! Freaking hell, that scared me. So they're just staying there. Man, that guy. So this is... Are they characters in the story? They're, they have very different personalities. Oh! Oh, I choose which one I want to be. The history. This is Bachelor. No, wait a minute. No, no, this is the difficulty. I think. Bachelor. The history of humanity witnessed the number of catastrophes that have demonstrated without a shadow of a doubt the pettiness of human achievement and the triumph of the invincible evil. Outbreaks of infection disease, infectious diseases that have from time to time wiped towns and cities off the map are undoubtedly among those. However smart and vi virtuous, the people caught up in these destructive events have repeatedly come to the conclusion that it's no use trying to fight these circumstances. The best you can do is bite the bullet and cope with your losses. This is the story of a person who has managed to work a miracle and defeat a seemingly unvanquishable foe. Are there multiple campaigns? This character is only unlocked after you finish the Bachelors or the Aerospex's storyline. So there are multiple storylines. Uh, okay, so these are the guys. I think this Bachelor is the guy at the back. And this is the guy that was saying Latin things. Let's see. How do they call upon the Menku, the faithful of a warden kin? Known by their hands, for they are butchers. Known by their eyes, for they are surgeons. They who follow the lines, they who are the leaders of the kin. They who speak to Udur, Udurgs. They who know the secret art of Haruspi. Uh, Haruspisi? What is Haruspex? Reading the future in the entrails. He knows that a body bears semblance to the universe. His scalpel follows, follows the lines of the body. His step follows the lines of his kin's fortune. A Haruspex can tell a true line from a false one is... That can tell a true line from a false one is entrusted with power. A Haruspex, who is confused by his path, gets buried in, into the deep black flesh of the earth. This is the story of a person who avoided the contradicting, eager to reap a doomed life apart, masterfully fulfilling this, his purpose in the process. And we have our mouse cursor is a pair of scissors. What, what looks like a pair of scissors to me, anyway. Uh, and that is the... Um, that's the other one, the ch challenging, I guess. Let's go with Bachelor. I think these are gonna be multiple. Th this is an interesting looking knife. I've never seen any kitchen knife like that. That looks like a scalpel to me. Probably an old school one, maybe. I don't know, let's go. Daniel Dankowski, a Bachelor of Medicine, was brought here by circumstances most unfortunate. Dankowski's life work, his theory challenging the existing notions of human mortality is being harshly persecuted by the powers that be. 
Suddenly, a letter arrives from a colleague suggesting that there is previous undiscovered evidence which may support Dankowski's claims. There is a settlement, the letter says, ruled by an extraordinary man who may well be seen as objective proof of Dankowski's daring hypothesis. Grasping at straws of hope, Dankowski decides to follow what he believes to be the sign of divine providence. Without further ado, he sets off for the settlement. Late at night, Bachelor arrives in the town. As he seeks room and board, he gets to know a girl called Eva Yan and stays at her place till dawn. Well, the cheapskate. I mean, he's a student. Okay, I did grasp this guy in the previous loading screen. As of today, my mission remains obscure. The examination of Simon Kane, who is rumored to be a man of incredible longevity, may shake the very foundation of modern thanatology and challenge the existent notions of death itself. Yeah, that's what he was working on. I don't know exactly what time we're dealing with, but maybe the turn of the century? Uh, of, of, in between the 19th and the 20th? I don't know. However, because the, the names that we're hearing here, th thanatology, I don't know what that is. Because uh, all, you know, different things were called, th th some things were called very different things back then. However, even if this undying Leviathan, Leviathan uh, proves to be a more than a fairy tale, the mere confirmation of his existence won't suffice to prevent the powers that be from shutting our laboratory down. I need to figure out the most faithful approach, or fruitful approach. Simon is a well-respected man, and if he mistakes my interest for eff effrontery, it would be nigh impossible to convince him to help me break new ground in the field of human vitality. Okay, that's the mission we have. It's not really a mission. Day one, by the end of which the bachelor finds himself battling a truly unvanquishable foe. Well, I hope that day one is the story. I saw something at the bottom left corner. Okay. Oh man, the graphics are I was I was reminded of the graphics from um from um Thief 3 or from Arx Fatalis, but it's not. They're much better. They're not amazing. They're kind of a mixture between Arx Fatalis and, and Vampire Bloodlines a little bit. I don't know what engine it has, but let's look around. So what do I have? I have an inventory over here with weapons. Apparently I have a weapon. A scalpel. I told you it was a scalpel. A large cartilage scalpel can be used to uh, as a close combat weapon. Not very easy to handle, but very effective due to its sharpness. Hmm. And we got clothes. Protective gloves. Light gloves made of synthetic. Apparently I can drop them as well by right clicking. Okay. How do I... Okay. Tab equips my weapon. Or not equips my weapon, but, you know. Uh... It's got durability. We got drugs in here. Morphine. What's morphine for? Uh, strong analgesic. Okay. And then we have Meridorm, a painkiller. 
Okay, that's basically the same thing, right? Alpha tablets. Uh, now dated immunity booster. Only useful if very in very large doses that cause serious health damage. Lovely. Uh, and a tourniquet, a rubber tourniquet facilitates or tourniquet. Got some rations. Yeah, we do. Water. Lovely. And uh, we have uh, kerosene is used for refilling lamp. Yes, indeed. Okay. So what do we have over here? What? Oh, this is a puzzle. This is a puzzle game. Uh, can I save the game? I can. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm so good. Oh, I like it. I like it, though. Okay, I can't go in through there. We have the way down. And we have... A bed. I want to sleep. Is my character going to sleep? Oh, apparently I can sleep. For six hours if I want to. I don't. And I can't open the wardrobe. Okay. Also, wait a minute. Before I sleep. Before I sleep. I want to see. So I have health, immunity, hunger, exhaustion, and infection. That's a lot of health bars right there. That is a lot of health bars. The sideways movement is a little bit slower than the front and backwards movement. So it kind of is throwing me off a little bit on the ball maneuvering things. So where where are we? Are we... Oh, hi. That's her. That's her house. Oh, look at that pretty painting. Hi. She didn't like the look of, of what the mirror was showing her, apparently. Or maybe it's because of technical difficulties. My because... lacquer is cracking, see? It is. What? I had a feeling you would come. Did the sounds from the outside wake you up too? Yeah, it's 2 a.m. That's right. No, actually, it's 6. Hmm. The clock said 2 a.m. There was a terrible groan, she says, and then something snapped loudly. Uh. I fell asleep so quickly I didn't even notice. It's like I fainted, I say. So what sounds are you talking about? I think there are strangers in the backyard by the pond. They're unlikely to be planning mischief, but I have a bad feeling about this, and I'm afraid to go out to them. I hope they go away soon and stop disturbing our sleep. Uh, well, I'd like to thank you for your hospitality for board and bed. I sincerely hope you have everything you need, because I'm very happy to have you here. Daniel, is it? Uh, how do you know who I am? Glory is the messenger riding ahead of the man. A celebrity from the capital, Bachelor Dan Kovs Dankovsky, the founder of Thanatica, the man who challenges death. Of course we've heard of you. Oh, uh, well, the glory is undeserved yet, but I hope that getting to know your ruler will give me a chance to live up to the expectations. Death. So that's the enemy you've chosen for yourself. Isn't it hard? I don't think anyone has managed to defeat that evil yet. Well... My enemy is inevitability. I am challenging the forces of nature. I don't understand, she says. Well, I can barely understand it myself. Could death only seem inevitable to us, but in reality be nothing more than a whim of the will that had shaped this world? That is the question. So where is the key to my... Uh, so where is the key to my victory? It's not far. The canes live in the crucible on the bridge square. But could I keep... Uh, please offer you a piece of advice? Uh, go on. Simon has two young brothers, younger brothers. The eldest of the two, Georgie, is called the judge by the locals. Visit him first. He isn't asleep. He'll teach you how to speak with Simon. The youngest one of the three is Victor. His daughter, Maria, and also, want, also wanted to see you. It's probably important. Okay, so I, I'm going to write it, this down, actually. So we need to talk to Georgie. Uh, and uh, we need to talk to Maria as well. Good. So... Was it she who knew about my arrival beforehand? Yes, she told me about it privately. Talking to her is no simple task. Maria is that kind of person. She puts on airs, but that's just how the canes are. It was Maria who told me that she would help you defeat death. That's the precise wording. What a coincidence. All right, well, thank you for the advice. Go, and I'll prepare everything for your return. Do come back after you speak to the canes. They will probably do a lot of things that will puzzle you and put you on guard. I will have some advice that may be of help to you. If you need it. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll come back. We have a map. I can zoom out. We have the railway station. Ooh, the Simon Kane, a man of improper longevity, is waiting for me here. I hope he sympathizes with my request. I only need to le the leaving evidence of the impossible. 
Well, it's not really evidence that how, of his age that, that he's leaving, but still. We have a lot of places to go. I saw something over here. That it is. The Trammel. Uh, okay, what am I supposed to do? I don't know what that is. There's a lot of things that I don't know. But I do need to know where I am. This mansion called the Stillwater belongs to a single girl called, uh, called Eva Yan. An accidental midnight encounter provided me with a lovely companion and temporary lodging. Well, it's just that she's scantily clad and that's why you're calling her lovely. She is not pretty though. Uh, in the picture at least. Uh, the town theater over there. Uh, the cathedral over there. The crucible and a mansion of Victor Kane. And the crucible mansion. Oh, Maria? Kana. Oh, is that how... Do you say that? Interesting. Uh, and then, okay, so I need to talk to Georgie as well. I have no idea where... Oh, Georgie is over there. Simon Kane. Okay. Good, good, good. So, how do I do this? Can I click there? No. What? What? Well, the railway station. I, I can press escape, though. So, there we go. She has extremely slender hands. Can I... I don't want to sleep in your bed. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. I've seen the angel of death by the window. Well, I haven't. And the, the, the darn good thing it is as well. Okay, so this is the house. Very, very... Well... Okay. Very small house, I was gonna say. Excuse me, Mr. Slenderman. Are you a statue? I... Th no. Venerable bachelor, please be so kind as to linger for a mi minute. This conversation won't take too long of your... Too much of your time, especially since time stops during dialogues. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say. At least during the important ones. And our dialogue is extremely important. You need to know how to play after all, don't you? Uh, play? What are you talking about, Masked Man? I'm neither a gambler nor an actor. Of course you aren't. You are a living, breathing man. As is evident from your condition and statuses. Your experience, hunger, thirst, and fatigue. You suffer from pain, wounds, and diseases. You're so lifelike. You have to eat, drink, sleep, and rest. And to make mistakes. Uh, well, the latter being the most definitive proof of my human nature, wouldn't you agree? If I may, I would like to point out just how important it is to keep an eye on your condition. If you get dizzy or unnaturally sluggish, do have it checked up. Vital processes tend to run faster during your emergencies than in everyday life. I knew a person who died of stress, but was diagnosed with starvation. Uh, well, I, it happens. I can, can testify to that as a doctor. Need I remind a wise man like you of the fact that hunger is sated with food? Food can be found in shops, and shops can be found in ordinary houses that are marked with specific signs. Sleep, however, is more complicated. People only sleep in beds and only in private residences around here. I am sorry, but that's just how the world is. Well, the, the world is unjust. Ah, quite silly. If you forgive, and quite silly, he says, if you forgive me for saying so. Speaking of commerce, different shops sell similar items at different prices. Make sure you don't get cheated. People can, can be quite brazen around here. You can also barter with a folk out in the street. Some things may be no, nothing more than trinkets to you, but others would be willing to part with their life's blood for them. Uh, blood? Yes, blood. It's not my place to lecture you, but if you, following your Hippocratic Oath, you ever consider easing someone's pain, feel free to just approach them with a suitable drug. You will see their pain receding before your very eyes. The sick fall asleep when they are close to recovery, don't they? Uh, well, or when they are close to their ultimate rest. Well, still helping the hopeless will grant you a good reputation. You will be seen as a benefactor willing to, to, par uh, willing to part with a precious sleeping draught. Or a painkiller for a simple bystander. So that's what those outdated drugs that I have are for. Yeah, anything else? No, not yet. Uh... Bye then, mask. Thank you. Okay. A very interesting choice for the soundtrack, I must say. Uh, and this thing is not a statue. Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. An executor. Or executor. Hmm. Halt. I'm going to have to teach you about the technicalities of the setting. The time and the place. It's not essential, but that's just how it is. The actor has to be prepared before he goes on stage, or else he'll fall down the aisle or stumble upon the prompt box. That would look mighty silly, wouldn't you agree? 
interesting how this connects to the beginning of the game. Um, who are you? I am an, a uh, an actor in a tragic mime show. That's unimportant. Will you listen to me or not? Okay, I'll, I'm listening. Time flies by. It can't be stopped or turned back. Nights follow days, which are then followed by nights. Things happen without any regards for whether you're there to witness them. Don't expect anyone to wait for you. Most events can be missed. And so? And so, it would make sense for you to visit the places that you care about regularly. You'll find the people that will play major roles in your fate there. They stand out from the common folk. The rest are just a crowd shot, a background, a bunch of extras. Well, as it has always been, I guess. Indeed. Still, it's best to avoid hasty judgment. It's a paradox, you see. Don't try to care too much for the lives of these bound-to-stand-out people. And don't be too dismissive of the silent crowd. Both extremes will end in tragedy. Why is that? This world cares for your reputation. A fine and crucial instrument, your reputation changes the world, you see. For it is a mirror, wouldn't you agree? And so a better reputation can get you into a lot of trouble. For example, oh, need I describe? You're, you've got vivid imagination. Everything changes from mythical aspects to mundane things like the people you need treating you badly. How many enemies you've got, how high the prices rise, how bad your dreams are. Lots of things. Well, yeah, sorry, prospect. So how do I maintain my reputation? Really? How is that even a question? Same as anywhere. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not betray. Do not steal. Do not covet. Do not be an asshole. Do not get caught. The rules are the same everywhere. A truly selfless deed, like risking something for thy neighbor, or even a person who lives quite far away, can help in a dire situation. Well, I see. Really? Good for you, then. As for me, I can see anything in this mask. I can't see anything in this mask, he says. I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, don't get too worked up about uh, human lives, and don't put too much stock into another's words, mine included. He who trusts everyone is asking to be deceived. Uh, yet he who trusts no one is deluded. I know that from experience. Okay, so exploration is important. I wish I knew how to sprint. And no, and being in the places... Uh, hi. Well, I like this guy. Not so much this one. It's got elf ears. Oh. Don't go in there. Hi. So how's it going, everybody? Hi. The worm feels sick. Head packed. Blood boiling. Belly freezing. Let the worm warm up. Let him take a rest. Don't touch us. We're dangerous. Um. Apparently, I need to be aggressive with this guy. I'm gonna go with this one. Whoa, that's some stench, you animal. How on earth do you even leave like that? Oh. Is it a worm? What do you want? This ain't your business. Uh, what is that creature over there? An on dog, duh. Well, that's what all of them cattle breeders look like. Crude and unshapely and unfinished, don't you know? Uh, wherever you came from? Uh, an intruder, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm a visitor in this town. Well, who could have thought it's home to such creatures, though? I don't know what to do over, over there to those things. So this is a very special town, as we can tell. Is that a sleeping bag? Nope, that's a car spoiler. Can't really sprint with shift. Can I sprint to control? Alt? No. Okay, let's go out. I know where to go. Can I press M? I can indeed. Fantastic, look at that, that's where I am. Okay, let's meet the people. Let's say hi to that guy. Number two, what's that number two? On the upper left corner of the screen. Hi. Good morals and luck are a great help in managing a small community without resorting to violence. Personal standing can work wonders, he says, a young man. Um. It's a pie in the sky. Nah, well, not really. What do you mean? I like our town. We're all one big family, but sometimes I get the feeling that we're all controlled by an unseen power. Our actions, but fiction. Yeah, it's 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 quite possible. It's quite possible. I am getting the sense that this is indeed all a play. Oh, there's a doctor's house over there. Hello, sir. Oh, 
okay, so it's the same one as before. Okay, I think we're reaching the church. That's where we need to go anyway. Check the houses, just in case. But we're also reaching the end of the episode, because we're out of time for the day. So, I'm Colonel RPG, and uh, this has been Pathologic. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!